I don't remember exactly when I learned to swim, or if all the kicking, paddling, splashing, and underwater nose holding I do can even be considered a form of swimming. I've always been around water. Growing up in Miami, boating and swimming were part of everyday life. In fact, if you weren't tan, wet with feet covered in sand, what were you even doing? One of my favorite swimming pools in all the world is a Venetian pool in Coral Gables, Florida. It's my favorite, perhaps, because of its ability to transport, to take us back in time. The Venetian pool opened in 1924 and was created out of the remains of the coral rock quarry used to build the city around it. Reflective of the city of Coral Gables, dubbed the City Beautiful, the pool showcases many timeless Mediterranean-style details. There are arcades and porticos, swaying palm trees and bridges. There are cascading waterfalls and observation towers, fountains and these Venetian-style mooring posts that surround the pool. There's even an island a sandy beach, and for all those mermaids and mermen, there are grottos. The Venetian pool has undergone several historical renovations in recent years and has a distinct designation of being the only swimming pool to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places, ensuring that it will be around well past a century and forever transporting us back to those roaring 20s. You know, life has a way of coming at us in waves. The good and the bad often overwhelm us whether we're in the deep end or simply dipping a toad to test the waters. And all we can do is try our best to keep our head above it all. Wading through life and navigating the expectations of the future, it might often leave us wishing for those simpler times, and it sometimes causes us to yearn for the past. And now that I think about it, when given the option to sink or swim, we ask, can't we just float? It's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs>